Hello. Oh. Hello now. I knew I forgot something. Oh. How's everybody doing? My name is Ionized Boop, and welcome to my stream. Let's set up a little bit so y'all can see my beautiful chin. Maybe lower this a little bit. How's everybody doing? I hope you are all having a nice and wonderful Thursday. And so I just wanted to say Thank you for joining me. We are going to be doing today, we're going to be continuing on playing our Dread. Uh, I believe last time we left off, it was, uh, we just finished the Gale and gave the music box to the main the artifact collector, I guess. And then next we were going to go down to Stellar Basin. Stellar Basin is where all that weird stuff is. Yes. Now before we do that, I'm going to be able to game while I'm just talking to you. There's a couple of things I wanted to do beforehand. Kind of like a... Think of it like we're, we're just kind of like getting prepared. Like nice and settled in for the day. At least, just get you and me to be more one-on-one -on -one with each other. Oh, I'm looking at my beard and slicks. It looks not as nice as I thought it would. Oh. Wipe the sleepiness out of my eyes. But today, I, I figured before we kind of jump into the game, we can just do a little bit of a wedding. Now, I hope everybody had a nice and a lovely day today. My day was, you know, just, well, not you know, but like it, it, it's the typical kind of day you, you get off of work and you go to work and deal with all the stuff that you would go dealing with a job. Then just came home and I'm like, oh, it's time for streaming. And I... Well, yeah. I, I, I feel like I can do a good good old stream today. And I wanted to do a couple of things beforehand. So typically when I get home, I watch some there's some videos I, I like to watch and I I feel, feel like just to kind of be keeping the mood of the whole water thing going. We can start off with a few things. I don't know why that's. Um, what is this doing? Oh, well, a few things, let's say. Just to kind of keep us chatting a bit. Now, what did I eat for lunch today? I ate a burger and some uh, king pop delicious uh good old delicious i forgot to microwave it though it was it was one of the buff in the store it was nice and warm in my mouth that makes sense <laughs> let me uh what am i doing i am doing this all right so before we jump in let's go ahead and let's Let's kind of do our due diligence and do some of the some of the normal stuff I would do when I get home. Unload this a little bit. All right, so let's get the facts of the day. Not the article of the day, I think. Uh, where is it? Today's featured article from Wikipedia. Let's see, today's featured article. 
each day a summary of one Wikipedia featured article. Blah, blah, blah. PFA. I know I've said I've done this before. But you caught me, I haven't. You caught me on my lie. Oh, I just had to scroll down and I could have saved it. All right, today's today's featured article. Relates to the beaver. Just looks like it's a... Oh, look at this thing. A North American beaver. I think there are some beavers also somewhere in the old, uh, like, I don't quite know where exactly. I know there's some in the old world. I say the old world, like somewhere in, uh, yeah, here we go. Euro Asia area. I was going to say like Asia, but it's not Asia. It's like the in-between area. Beavers are large semi-aquatic rodent of the northern hemisphere there are two extant extant species the north american pictured here and euro-asian beaver both have stout bodies large heads chiseled like incisors hand like front feet webbed back feet and flat Scaly tails. The Eurovision, the Eurovision, the Eurasian beaver has a longer skull, lighter color, and narrower tail. Both are found in freshwater habitats and are herbivores, consuming plants and tree bark. They build dams and lounges using tree branches, vegetation, rocks, and mud. Their infrastructure has a great impact on the surrounding environment. Adults live in mono, monogasm, monogamosis, no, monogamos pairs, monogamous, oh my goodness, monogamous, with their offspring. Breavers are Territorial and scent march with secretion called castorium. Historically, beavers were hunted for their fur, meat, and castorium. Oh, huh. I guess people like to have a certain smell to them. Overhunting nearly extincted both species. With protection, populations have rebounded and both are listed as these concern species on the IUCN Red List, International Union for Conservation of Nature. The beavers symbolizes industriousness and is Canada's national animal. I'd say that's a good read. If you want to learn more about beavers, you can look here by clicking on the full article. Excuse me a moment. Excuse me, my nose is just so runny because of allergies. Okay, let's switch to the fact of the day. Fact of the day. Did you know today's April 13th? <laughs> fact of the day is a section. No, where is it? Fact of the day is a section where you try different facts, but they're not displayed here.
This page is even no longer relevant or blah blah blah. Screw five seek. Excuse me, you heard me blow my nose. Suck my nose. I don't understand. Is it still not the 13th? I guess let's do tip of the day. Tip of the day. Motto of the day. From one learn all. The model of the day. The model of the day is a way of displaying an inspirational or intelligent, intellectually invigorating daily quotes for the fellow Wikipedians. I'll zoom out a little bit. What is the tip of the day? Is this the tip of the day? I'm confused. Nobody likes to be confused. It is today, model of the day. Okay. It's not what I thought the tip of the day would be. I should have just stuck with my original thought of just doing the numbers and letters of the day. Although even that was kind of difficult because of the number, the letter of the day was, uh... This is something that doesn't actually, that I could find easily. Let's see, today is April 4th, or no, April 13th. So I can get later of the day. I don't see any letter of the day besides like, like actual letters for, not what I want, basically. So we're gonna do, Number of the day. This is going to be today's number. That is uh, not what I thought was going to pop up. Boy, this is really something I thought of beforehand. Not the current number of day. I just want a random number. What is the number of today? Can anybody tell me? What is the number of the day? I would love to show you all. And I know there is a website that shows Okay, get out of here, ad. Get out of here, ad.
Oh my goodness. Now make me to do the cookie stuff. I want I uh. Stop it. It won't let me view. Oh, that's so annoying. Let's do Oh Holidays Um April 13th Now let's do this Let's do this. Let's go to the home page for Wikipedia. Today's featured article. This has nothing to do with beavers, so I look at the wrong thing. I'll have is the eleventh uh, leaf of the Atimids. Um, 1132 until his death, he rose to power as regent after his cousin. Al um, Mir was killed in 1130, leaving an infant son. The army seized power, imprisoning Al Hafiz, but he was freed a year later. In 1132, he proclaimed himself the leaf and Imam. Uh. I don't quite know what Imam means when they claim themselves to be that, but it seems to be maybe religious. Many is mom is followers. Oh, never. The followers abroad abroad refuse to recognize him as mom. All right. Because it's not has lived most for attention. Okay. Breaking away from the Taibis sect. There were repeated uprisings even in Egypt, although his reign saw little foreign aggression. He tried to restrain his over mighty viziers and with mixed success he was repeatedly forced to give way to the demands of various military factions and although from the last decade of his reign he ruled without a vizier he was ultimately unable to halt the evolution of the vizierate into a de facto sultanate sultanate independent of the caliph Successors would be reduced to puppets at the hands of powerful viziers until the end of Fatimid's Caliphate in 1171. Did you know that TV artist TV Boy, known for his murals of footballers in Barcelona, painted uplifting art in regions of Kiev ahead of the one year anniversary of the 20. 22 Russian invasion. How did I know that? On this day, April 13th, Night of Decree. Night of Decree. Night of Power also re rendered as Night of Destiny, Night of Decree, or Night of Termination. Also, the pre Tia Precious Night is an Islamic belief the night when the Quran was first sent down from heaven to the world, and also the night when the first verses of the Quran were revealed to the Islamic uh, uh, Profit. I figured it out. I'm trying to do it without clicking on the articles. I'm 
Storm of uh, Messiah. The neoclassical Jefferson Memorial was formally dedicated on the 200th anniversary of Thomas Jefferson's birthday. Com, a Jewish organization seeking revenge for the Holocaust attempted to poison thousands of SS prisoners at. Wait, what? I never heard of this. Here's what. A uh, leg was her interment camp, but did not kill anyone. Oh, I never heard of that. Let's create all those. I mean, yeah, that's more than justified, though. Well, I don't know. It's... I wonder. I mean, it's it's it's. Let's just drop it. Ian Fleming novel Casino Royale was published as the first work to feature his British spy character James Bond. 2017, War of Afghanistan, Afghanistan, black. In an airstrike in Nigarha province, the US military dropped the most powerful conventional bomb ever used in combat. <sighs> Sounds like America. Let's see, what else did I know? The foster lawyer broke Michigan's high school and Stephen Curry's Davidson record for consecutive free throws in 2023. United UK students' protests were organized on TikToks and Snapchat. Huh. At the age of 27, New Zealander, New Zealand in, in, uh, entrepreneur Jamie Eaton had degrees from Harvard, Stanford, Oxford, and Tsinghua University, and was working on his seventh degree from Yale. Hmm. Oh, I gotta read this one. This one's about water. That it was hot, we stayed in the water. Explores the theme of water and was inspired by Phil Elverum's visit to the ocean. What is this? This this piques my interest. Just bear with me. We'll get through the rest of this and then we'll go check that out. In 1965, Green Bay Packers athletic trainer Bud Jorgensen became the first athletic trainer selected by the National Football League to treat players to the at a Pro Bowl. Okay. Well, uh, that the St. Raphael Provincial Park in Northern Ontario, Par Canada is part of the one 1530 kilometer squared St. Raphael signature site, which is recognized for its natural and recreational value. In the 1970s, residents of the Bell Nord in New York City had to sneak in. What? Residents of the Bell Nord in New York City had to sneak in refrigerators. Why? That's interesting. We got today's featured picture. This Itai is an alt high altitude cold desert in the western Himalayas in India. This Pitai means the middle land between Tibet and India. The region is above the tree line. And. Oh. Uh, and excuse me a moment. I'm just saying something while I'm trying to do a text real quick. Blah, 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 blah. I sent it. Where was I? With only shrubs and a few scratched, uh, uh, scattered, stunted trees, in the upper valley, the braided Sp Spatite River flows in narrow channels in a very wide riverbed as seen in this photograph 
taken just above Kaza, the largest town in Spotite. In the lower valley, the river meanders through gorges 10 to 130 meters, 33 to 427 feet deep, that it has cut in the sedimentary deposits. The Moravian geologist Fernand Stolichka discovered a major geological formation near the village of Mud. It's actually a village? What oh, village is called? Oh, okay. I wonder if that's how you pronounce it. In the 1860s, and identified a number of layers or Successions of people of Spatite follow Tibetan Buddhism and their culture is similar to those of neighboring Tibet and Ladakh. The region is known for adventure tour venture tourism, trekking and mountaineering. I mean it sounds cool. Looks really nice too. Look at this picture. Wow. Like it looks kinda like a fake background kind of a thing. Also looks like a car. When was this taken? 2018? Looks like it's kind of suffering from the whole global warming kind of a thing. It looks like the water line was like a little bit higher. Yeah. At least that's my, that's my guess. All right, let's just take a quick look at the at this. It was hot. We stayed in the water. Much more into it. It was hot as a second studio album by American indie folk and indie rock band. The microphones. It was released in 2000. I don't think I've heard of this. Indie folk and indie rock. Maybe that's why I don't really listen to uh, that kind of stuff often. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me for a moment. This is a album. I'm gonna to listen to this later. I'm gonna put this on save. See right there, my bookmarks. But let's do. Well, I want to get to this, not to this ad. I want to get to this quiz later. Right now, let's just do a little bit of. Well, no. I guess we'll do the quiz first. We'll do the deepest oceans and seas. Can you name the top ten deepest oceans and seas? Out in the air, I can. Especially just looking at their numbers. I'll give it a try. I only got three minutes anyways. So that's not long. Let me go ahead and put something a bit more suiting. Alright. Okay, so the deepest sea, deepest oceans and seas. Can you name the top 10 deepest oceans and seas? Let's find out. Because I, I can't tell by looking at these, at these numbers. I barely know the names of all the oceans. 
and or C's. Let's give it a try. Ready? And go. Uh, Atlantic. No. Pacific. Oh, great. Oh, I don't even have to enter. Uh, uh, I don't think Mediterranean. I don't even know how to spell that. Black? No. Indian. Oh, no. There's more than... Oh, no. Uh, I think it's the deepest. So... Atlantic. Pick. Mediterranean. Oh, I got it right. And it's actually deeper than I thought. Uh, red. See? No. Korean Sea. No. East. Down. Japan. No. What's the one that's between Japan and like Korea? I thought it was a Korea Sea. South. Korea. North. Japan. East? No. Oh. I want to have to like break it down to, uh, like North Atlantic, South Atlantic. I don't even spell it Atlantic. Uh, okay. South China. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't really know the sea areas. That's like in the eastern uh, Asian area, or like the the whole uh, 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 like Indonesia area, or I don't know all their names. Um, I think I got four though. I'm fine with four. Let's see if I can get one more. Uh, and so easy. No. Uh, uh, I need one more. I need one more. Come on, I can get five. I can get five. Uh, uh. Ooh, back. No. Uh, water. Oh. No, don't give me this McDonald's ad. Oh, go orange. No, get out of here. I don't got money for orange. Oh, just enjoy this ad for McDonald's. Over. Okay. Arctic Sea. Caribbean Sea. Southern. Oh, so close. I just put Southern Sea. I was mis <laughs> misspelling Atlantic. <laughs> I would I count that as five. I just didn't know how to spell Atlantic. Hmm, I didn't know the rest of these though. Although I don't, I thought the Gulf of Mexico was kind of like the same as the Atlantic because it still is kind of in that region. Same for the Caribbean. Where's the Southern Ocean? Ocean. Where's that? Oh, that's the South Pole. But uh, Antarctica. As shown here. Ah. Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian. Yeah, Southern Ocean. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't know that's what it was called. Okay, four out of five. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. So but with that, let's kind of go ahead and let's do a little bit of mogul mail. Let's hope. See, I don't get any trouble with uh, 
For the past week, there's been a lot of conversations about Chris from the Mr. Beast team, specifically how he announced he's undergoing hormone replacement therapy. Originally, I wasn't going to make a video about it because, frankly, who cares? This is just an adult making the best decision for their life, and it doesn't impact the viewer at all, so why talk about it? That was, of course, until the only YouTuber I don't like made a video about it. And no, I'm not talking about Mr. Top 5. I like that guy. Don't bother that guy. I'm talking about Sonny V2. Now, I don't like Sonny V2 because most of his videos just prey on somebody's downfall, and it spreads a lot of negativity. He has some good videos, like the 61 Hours uh, Mac Miller video. Who's this? But the rest of them, it's just a lot of surface-level research with uh, oftentimes uh, hate comments or just like anecdotal Surfers. quotes being used as evidence for arguments. Level uh, and research. his most recent video did clickbait me. It was called Why Chris Will Soon Be a Nightmare for Mr. Beast. And so I watched it, and I was, I, I was in awe about how shit it was. And we'll get to how shit it was, but first... That's how to get you. You put in a title. Especially with that dumb that thumbnail. That makes you wonder. Wonder what? I don't know. Go ahead and uh click on this. But that's how do you get you? Surface level to research. Just makes you wonder how deep you gotta go in order to make it research that you I guess research that you would find reliable. And I guess that depends really on you, but I think that at least in my head, you typically want to try to find sources that seem to be lining up with other sources that you find online that you it's hard to say, because I want to say that you trust, but even the ones that you trust can be fault, faulty at times. So, like, either like five to ten sources that kind of like match up with what they're saying. You just got to be careful that those sources aren't just like random people just spouting, right? So if you look at an article, like in this case, I guess Sunny V2, I'm assuming that Ludwig here is just claiming that he does when he's when he claims that he's doing surface res levels research he's only looking at like one article and like oh this guy's doing this without kind of like comparing other other like other sources so and would be nice pen sources i know a lot of people wouldn't want to do that much but even sometimes 10 can be too little so it's it's hard to say Let's get some context going. This is uh, Chris announcing uh, he's, he's doing HRT, and this came off the heels of a tweet from someone saying, bro, what the fuck happened? And it was Chris three years ago or something, and then Chris now. And he goes, HRT, and it's only been two months. And Chris follows up and says, informed consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. The hurdles gender nonconforming people have to jump mm -hmm. through to get life. I want to realize, maybe I should show myself in this. Let me go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show myself. I'm going to show myself. Well, I hope my computer can handle it. Well, maybe I can't because I, mean, I don't have the shortcut. On my, oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it the hard way. A click. There we go. Life-saving, gender-affirming healthcare in a first-world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. That makes sense. I can get on board with that. Gender-affirming healthcare, not too different from a boob job or me when my hair is gonna go and I'm gonna have to chug Propecia to save my career. I feel like uh, I missed a bit. I'm gonna go back a little bit context going this is uh chris announcing uh he's, he's doing hrt and this came off the heels of a tweet from someone saying bro what the fuck happened and it was chris three years ago or something then chris now and he mm -hmm. goes hrt and it's only been two months and chris follows up and says informed consent hrt saved my and many others lives the hurdles gender non-conforming people have to jump through to get life-saving gender affirming health care in a first world country is wild to me just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies that makes sense i can get on board with that Gender affirming healthcare, not too different from a boob job or me when my hair is gonna go. So he said when he says gender affirming healthcare, so gender affirming care, hair transplants, gender affirming care, breast implant is gender affirming care, treating now uh, treating low testosterone in straight men is gender affirming care, trying to erase the trans community, not ban gender affirming care. Hmm. I feel like care. It's a bit of a stretch. 
Uh, what I mean hair is a bit of a stretch. I mean like when I assign gender to hair. Maybe like hairstyles. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking of it the probably the opposite of what they mean here. Oh, and I'm gonna have to chug Propecia to save my career. Uh and for anyone who's concerned about the pronouns here, Chris, any pronouns is chill. I'm going with he him. In general, for pronouns, you just try your best. You ask if you don't know. If you're wrong, you correct yourself. It doesn't have to be deeper than that. Uh, anyway, let's get to the shit video. Uh, this is a real clip from the video. I'll play it uninterrupted. Uh, fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Yeah, that was a real that was a real piece of evidence. He painted, uh, bro. Like you got to go a little bit deeper than that, right? Oh, that was his evidence, just to paint it on the nails? That's not really much anything. Like, <laughs> who hasn't painted their nails at least fucking once? What's wrong with painting your goddamn nails? They look pretty. All right, catch, catch me getting a mani and a petty. You got gross-ass nails. I don't want them. Anyway, he follows up by reading out this hate comment. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long nails. I think I... When it comes to marriage, I feel like it's a... I feel like it's a... My view on it kind of differs compared to other people. At least people that make this kind of comment, because they see just like as a man and woman, and a relationship when I see it more as just, you know, kind of like more of like making the, the term partner in crime to like a literal set, right? Your partner could be anything. So why not? When I kind of go with that definition. Which honestly could be a bar in an Eminem diss track. As the criticism continued to pile, Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. Now at this point, what do you think Sonny V2 is going to say? All right, Chris is getting a bit harassed. He's taking a break from social media, maybe trying to, you know, find what makes him happy in life. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self. I feel like the implication of that sentence is go back. Actually, don't. Don't explore what makes you happy. Don't, 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 don't do what you want to do. Don't, don't, don't be who you are. It's, it's go back, go back to the more masculine you, which I don't know if that's Sunny V2 just being horny for how Chris looked in 2017 or what, but it's fucking weird either way. And then he says this comment. He'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this. He doesn't look that bad. I mean, his, his outfit looks great. Double down on his feminine image. Showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this. I don't like how he said that. I don't like how he said looking like this. Especially... Sonny V said, said that in a way that made it sound like he just... Doesn't know how to dress unique like. If that makes sense. Especially when Tariq is in the photo looking like that. Really? You're worried about how Chris looks? At, bro, look at Tariq. What are we talking about here? Anyway, well, I, I see a lot Tariq. of like random ass comments that kind of imply that this decision from Chris was made on a dime. And I don't know if you've ever talked to someone who's trans. I have just been in my stream. It's never a quick decision. It's not like fucking you wake up one day, you're like, tits would be nice. That's not, it's usually a long battle that happens where you are trying to mm -hmm. find who you are in this world while also trying to somehow conform to what society says you should be. And, and we have had, luckily, because we live in a goddamn free country, more freedoms. It was not very long ago, it was in your parents' lifetime, that the, the, the phrase, pray the gay away, was standard, right? And that's, that's the... I mean, it still is to some people. It's sad that it is. Because they don't... It's like they just don't understand the... And they don't even want to understand. That's the sad thing, too. When it comes to these kind of topics. Just because of the way that they were taught growing up, or at least conformed 
to have those kind of thoughts that everything is just like either one or the other. And that's not true in a lot of things in life reality of it so it's i think pretty dope that you can actually find who you want to be and that we live in a place where that works and this was someone else's take on it which I, this is just funny arl is tearing the mr beast team apart and turning them gay arl is <laughs> yeah i, I don't oh, know geez. i don't know i don't know there's i feel like there's always some implication that I, you just hang out with carl you get gay what do you... i'm gonna take that as a fact that he means He's bringing more joy to them. That definition of gay. Obviously, no. Obviously, no. In, in, in fact, Chris announced uh, during, like, I think the election last or a few years ago that, that he, he was bi. Uh, and he said he came out to people when he was 16 years old. So, like, it, totally oh, off base. Brave. Stupid fucking comments. Uh, but but Sunny V2 does not end with the stupidity. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. Pathetic. Hmm. He will get torn apart at school, won't want to have friends around his house, a life full of difference and being alone. They're talking about Chris's son, Tucker, and how this uh, um, uh, is going to affect Tucker's life okay. and going to ruin his life or whatever. And, and to be clear for this second comment, he'll get torn apart at school. He won't have any friends around. That is just because you are transphobic. But the kids, the next generation, they're way fucking smarter. They're way more understanding. And they care way more about their fellow human than anybody does in the older generations. I feel like he's just giving too much credit to kids. Kids are, br kids are honest and they're, they're brutal. Not to say that some of them are understanding. I'm sure some of them are understanding when it comes to situations like this. Partly because they just, they're, they're still learning about like this whole thing. It's actually a part of life. Compared to like people who just don't want to understand it. Like probably the kids and their, 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 like the people they look up to doesn't have to necessarily necessarily be their parents. I just hope those kids are get wiser when they get older. But yeah, kids are brutal, man. So maybe they would if you went to school with Tucker, but luckily you're an adult and so you shouldn't be within 100 feet of it and the kids the kids will be way better positioned. And because of all this uh, uh, backlash uh, that people are saying somehow he's going to be a worse father because of this. Chris no, not because, not, not, not. He, that said, that he's not going to be, like, he's, if anything, I'm going to say that he's, that he's going to be a strong parent compared, compared to, like, what other people would say. Because he's not only just coming out as going through this therapy, but he's just being himself. And that's already tough in, in itself already. Yeah, he's showing us right now, but just making that statement, I'm, I'm going to say that he's showing to his kids that he's quite a strong person. Chris uh, 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 posted a schedule of how he takes care of his kid, which, which he does not have to do. I feel bad that he felt like he had to do this shit. It's fucking out of pocket. The fact that he doesn't, he doesn't even have to do that. Uh, like, to be clear, Chris loves his kid. His kid is going to live a top 0.001% life, right? Like, like he will never have to struggle for anything. Bro, this kid's uncles are Mr. Beast Carl Jacobs. Every fucking birthday is going to be lit. He's going to have a fucking uh, garage full of cars by the time he's 16. Like, the, I don't think people understand. <laughs> he's going to live one of the greatest lies of all time if i get to reincarnate mm -hmm. i choose chris's kid that is a cushy gig let me get chris's kid as my next life because that's one of this is one of the greatest lives you can get and clearly chris loves his kid and that's what you need to be a parent right i feel like it's gonna be even tougher because then you just got rich bullies <laughs> you just have you don't just have bullies but you have rich bullies that are more that have more resources 
Like that's that he's he's crushing it as a parent. So crazy to even not to say that his uncles, Mr. Beast, are bullies, but I mean, like, you know, I imagine since they have that money, their neighbors are probably going to have the same or the, at least that school environment where he's gone are going to have that same. The same kind of status. Even include that at the, as, in the video, with which is just mindless hate comments as somehow like reasons to maybe not uh, come out that you're taking HRT. I don't know. I don't know what the goal of that was. Whether it be arrogant, and this is how the video ends, and I think it's so dog shit. Against or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact type of drama. Now, off rip. It's hmm. not drama. This is not like there was no drama. He's right, All right, no drama. This, a person made a choice that HRT would make them happier. That's it. The drama is all you fucks talking about it like it's somehow like the devil. It's not. It mm -hmm. doesn't impact anything at all. I I don't get it at all. I, this whole video, I mean, you could have just I said, just hey, say, I'm I outwardly like transphobic and I feel like I don't like when people take HRT. And it would have been more honest. Is. All right, you, we would have got to the point quicker rather than wasting nine minutes and seven seconds of listening to it. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. The whole shit seems wild to me. But let's 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 actually let's talk to the person he's talking about. He said Chris could be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. What does Mr. Beast think? This is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend, and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Understandable. <laughs> there it is. All right, from the horse's mouth, we don't need to fucking talk about it anymore. I don't get why it's such a big talking point. We can move on. We can find other things to worry about. Global politics. I don't know. Just move the fuck on. It's not a big deal. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Subscribe. See you later. I remember because I think it sounded creepy. Like, I remember just, I think this Jackie Chan background of uh, him was just standing, with, just standing before, just awkwardly. Later. Um, uh, goodbye. Anyways, let's let's talk about something more. Something to bring more cheer to people. Let's do more daily dose. So this is actually really really cool. This woman trained her hamster to trim her nails. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> it's cool and yet kind of. Uh, uh, you want some use. cereal? Yeah. Can I make it for you in a minute when I'm done using the bathroom? <sighs> I have never seen a creature like this in my entire life. This man found a weird type of mole rat in Romania. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How can it see? <laughs> This is a professional, please do not attempt. This pilot wanted to show off his skills by having his plane dive down and spin while trying his best to not lose any water. Have you ever seen a constipated kitten before? <laughs> You've got this. Push. <laughs> this ape is smart enough to know how to use a juice box. I started washing parts in a gas bucket when I was 12 years old and I wound up teaching at the highest level for General Motors. There's no higher than that. You can stupid. fix anything but me. <laughs> Can't fix stupid. This is a professional, please do not attempt. Red Bull attached an entire skate park to a hot air balloon and then they had a professional BMX rider do tricks up there. Oh no, oh wait, he has a parachute. 
Either way, that's still pretty cool. Doves might be small, but when it comes to protecting their eggs, they can really pack a punch. Wow. That's a nice sound effect. <laughs> I never knew this, but I guess sushi needs to be frozen before being served in restaurants. The purpose is to kill the parasites that are present in fish. So the scientists wanted to see how it works by taking parasites from raw fish and putting them in a freezer. After a few days, he saw that the parasites died, but the eggs from the parasites were still present and were capable of hatching. That is the end of this wow. video. We hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Well, we gotta keep that in mind because I'm sure the parasites can also Matching this game. Whoa, maybe that's what happened with the people of Great Marrow. Let me actually switch over to the game capture screen. Okay. <sighs> um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to do something before, but I think we're good. So let's see. Let me get. Let me go ahead and turn off my lights. Let me get all. Oh. Close it up just to join us in this dark town of Greater Marrow. Marrow! So, what were we doing before? We got scrap. Lights are flickering. I don't know why. We have no storage room. What do we have in our cabin? We're reading a book, The Engineering's Companion. We have an encyclopedia. Exclamation point for some reason. Oh, because of this cartoonish looking cleft mouth sharp. Let's see our pursuits. The relics. Catch rare fish. I don't think we're going to catch any of these rare fish. We're going to go to the ring. Or look for the ring in Stellar Basin now. Okay, this is my storage. All full. We look at my... My vehicle, we got a full engine, we got explosives, we got scrap we're going to take with us. We're going to take this hydraulic rod. And keep our strong lights. I don't think I could do, oh we have a lot of money, I just saw that. 2700, nice. Let's take a look at the dry dock. I think I just need to upgrade the lights and the space rod, the rod space, which needs three wood and two wood. And I can upgrade to the tier four. I mean, I need wood, but I think I have the cloth, scrap, and definitely got the refined metal. Let's see. Oh, I need one more cloth. Either way. I don't think I need yeah. anything from the ship, right? Not gonna get this engine because these two work much better. And it uses up all my squares, right? Just kind of walking my way through back to what we were doing before. This is coastal and shallow. I think actually, can I? Can I swap this out for coastal and oceanic? Do I have that? No, right? Oh, but I can sell this. Am I going to sell it? Maybe not. I'll hold on to it. What's my research looking like? Let's go to nets. Uh, this is the one I want. I don't have enough. Oh, well. Oh, and I think I was holding on to that one because I think I need this. And I think I can get this if I get to the next region. So let's go. Oh, it's dark. Should I go? I think we're fine if we go at night, right? Let's see, how do I get there? Oh, I wanted to explore these islands first. I want to, like, work my way towards this way. So, you know what? We're gonna sleep. Okay. 
Do you really can't put like marks on the map? So I'm gonna work my way. We're gonna work to this island first. So we're gonna go to the Blackstone Island. I'm gonna work to here. I think we've been here before, but just in case. Ooh, I forgot how fast we are. Oh, we're going fast. Remember, if I see wood, like there, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. Maybe if we get these upgrades before we head out. Oh, maybe I can. At least one. Oh, depleted. Okay. Oh, I'm sure you heard that. Oh, there's more wood over there. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of wood this time. Maybe I'll do the upgrades before we head out. Come on, give me three. Three, give me three, give me three. Dang. Well, I have three now. What is this? Oh, scrap. I'm just gonna dump it. I'm just kinda doing this off in the off chance that it's uh, research, which is not. No. Okay. I know I said we're gonna go to the island, but after seeing that all of wood, I'm gonna do one more go around the island. Hopefully I'm gonna find some more wood. I would love to get that research. Or not that research, that uh... That uh... uh, uh upgrade. I'm ignore you. Ignore that rock. What was that? Is that what it looks like to be wood over there? I'll use this. Let's see. Oh, that's cloth. I do need cloth. I might go and grab the cloth. It's actually pretty cool how this works out. Actually, look over here. Bronzer Whaler. Ah, okay. So it even tells me the name. Look at the cloth. Yes. I got just the, these two. Oh, I've read. And now it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and see what this engineering thing said. Equipment types. Yeah, use durability. We'll lose. Use a 10% slower. I want to know there's equipment that had their ability to <laughs> Now before we head back, we get this one of the upgrades. Oh, stay away from me, hallucinating water. Or hallucinating air. Oh, we're going. We're zooming. This looks like... No, I don't want that. I want... I want wood. There doesn't seem to be any wood. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't crash! It crashed! Oh, we're zooming. Is that thing behind me is... You gonna catch up to me? Oh, it doesn't even come over here. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and let's get this upgrade for one. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess we'll do the fishing. Fishing uh, rods upgrade. 
One here, one here. Get that, so I just need two wood. Two wood. I'm gonna sell some of these. Who can I sell this to? Jeffrey? Uh. Oh, right, I gotta repair anyways. Uh. Pushmonger. No. I'll to the trader then. Oh, either way, let's get some sleep. Oh, I did sell my fish. Let's go ahead and sell all these. And we're off. Any more wood? Does it seem to be? Just take one last spot over here. Ooh, we're so zooming. I'm so fast. Yes. Me too. Yes, all right. Looks like we're gonna get it. All right. Let's go get that upgrade now. Let's go and get the upgrade. Go and get the upgrade. Maybe go to the trader to sell my scrap. Yeah, cause I still I need to make room, so I'm gonna sell what I have in here. Dry docks. Let's get this last light. Upgrade. Yeah, new hall. We don't have the wood, but we do have the scrap and the cloth. Find that hole. And in here. Okay, anything else? I think that's it. I just need the wood. Yeah. Wood and then we should be good. But I cleared out my cargo. Right. So with that, I'm not gonna sell any of the stuff that I have in my storage. No, because now I wanna hold on to this for when I get my upgrade. I'm not gonna get rid of these crab traps. We're actually gonna sleep for the whole day. We're gonna get our good naps in. I think this is gonna be a relaxing day because we're gonna go to the marrow. Not to the marrow. We're gonna leave early. We're gonna leave around five. Okay, let's go. I could have, should have sold my fish before. <laughs> want them to go stale or take up the room? Let's go now. Come on, everyone. Let's go to that island. Oh, we get it. Let's see what we get. Let's go ahead and sell this. 
And I wanted to go, but I want to get rid of this before we go. I want to sell. Uh, yeah, 289. That was a good sell. I like we need the money, but good money. Now we're only going to stop if we see wood and research. We're going to go to this island first. I think this is the first one we want to go to. Maybe this is the one that we've already been to. Have I been to this? Maybe. We'll know for sure once we get over here. What's that? You approach a hooded figure swathed in dark blue robes. Their faces are barely visible. Yes, yeah. Um. You can barely hear their raspy whisper above the wind and waves. The hooded figures on frill an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown on the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. I don't I don't have this. I gotta give you a blue mackerel. Okay. Can I get a blue mackerel again? I think actually the marrow's right. Yeah. Oh, do I actually have one in my net? I sure do. Alright, yeah, fulfill the hunger. There you go. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. That's one way to, to gut it. They stuff it into their mouth and ceremoniously. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Alright, where can I get that? I think is that actually the one that's on, uh... Yeah, over at Gale... Over to Gale Island. Let's go and grab that. We'll explore this island a little bit more. Because I gotta go and grab that over there anyways. Looks to be some eels over there. Oh, what's in our net? No, just a cod. Got a shipwreck here. Looks like I've explored this, maybe. Looks like I have. A little bit exploring on this island a little bit. Let's assume to be back here. Let me see. Um, just gotta keep looking to see if that's the blue, uh, not the blue, what is it? The tiger mackerel. May as well. May as well come over here then. Back to Gale Cliff. Maybe I'll catch one on my net, or we could just turn around. Eventually, it might be them right here. Oh, but I can't catch them because I don't. I don't have the the proper fishing equipment. Oh, but maybe I still caught one because of my net. I think I was going to be back here.
And there they are, but I can't grab them without the, f the fisher fishing hook. Kind of hoping to get one with my net, like like this, like this. No. Let's just go ahead and sell what we got and grab the fishing rod. Um. Got. Let's swap this out. Might as well do a spinal, this this new uh, spindle. Save me room. Two hours, but that's fine. Now I need to go to sleep because those things only those tiger mackerel only appear in the morning. There we go. Okay, let's go and grab some. Maybe right there. Yes. Oh, I missed. All right, we got it. What's going on? Give it to that dude. It's over, over here, I think. Over there? No, over here. I think. Rock the we rock the baby. Let me guess. Nope. All right. So if you need to peach or perch, I think that's what they're called. Let's go and give him that fish. I'm gonna watch him rip this one's heart out. Yeah, more still. I got you. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drying out its heart. It's consumed as quick as the first. We point to the final scroll. This one is a snake mat. Oh, I don't know where to get this one. We'll have to come back to this. Hopefully he doesn't get hungry. Waiting for us to get those fish. Okay, well. That said, that's this island explored. So let's go towards this tiny little one. Which looks to be that one. Hopefully nothing big comes out of the water. I don't know about you, but it sounds like I hear like a bad sound. Go ahead and see what this is. Bronze Whaler. No, we don't want that. Looks like nothing here on this island. So the next one is going to be... That one over there? Let's look at the little one over here, it looks like. Maybe, maybe that one is the little one. Yes, this is the little one. Looking, looking at the islands. Now, I've never been on a boat. And I imagine just being on a boat, I probably get seasick because everyone in my family got seasick whenever they've been on a boat. I don't think I'd, uh, like, not like a, a rowing boat, per se, but like a, uh, an actual ship. Maybe not a ship, but like a, one of those boats that... No. They actually could walk in. Like a sailboat. Nothing out here. Over there seems to be just gale cliffs. Yeah, so we don't have to go over there. Maybe we do, just to kind of get that little island by the... Got a cliff. I think I... I don't remember if I tried to stop on that island before. Let's see what I mean in a sec. I try to avoid going into the walks.
Oh. That looks mysterious. One's pushing me towards it. Anything over here? Nope. All right, let's go check out this wrecked galleon. A rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of the wrecked ship. Look inside. Oh, wood. Yes, and we got some silver trinket and a bag of doubloons. Nice. Okay, with that, that's these islands explored. We'll probably stop by the dusty pontoon to drop off the wood and our gold. Then make our way to this little island down here. Then head, heading west. Oh, this one's right here. We might go to this one real quick. No, let's drop off the wood first. Because it's getting dark. Looks like there's a light over there, too. Oh, well, on the off chance, I think I have probably explored that over there. It's so quiet. It's spookily quiet. Alright, let's go ahead and... Mm. Or some of fish. I should sell them. Let's go to the floating dock. Drop off our one wood. Back here. We can also drop off our trinkets. I want you, because I need to fish. So put you like that. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and rest before we go crazy at sea. Get some water, because I'm seeing all this water. It's making me thirsty. Okay. Let's go to this one island. We're going to go around to the outside just to avoid that big old thing. A big old fish in the middle. And I'll hopefully find some wood while we're out here. Oh my goodness, lightning. That's a fish over there. That's a fish over there. Might not find any wood out here. That's okay. There's a dock. That's the one I was thinking of over there. Just be a little bit careful because I know there's like a big old uh oh, I can dock. Campsite. You stand at the center of the campsite. The fire embers are cool, but ashes are still steadily blowing out with the wind. Uh take a look at the camp no, look for footprints. Look for footprints first. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been etched into the dust nearby. Some have been erased with hasty wipes of a foot. What do you want to do? Look, uh, take a closer look at the campfire. A large flat rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. Pick the ashes. You kick the ashes. Your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. You brush the remnants aside. Research. You take it. What do you want to do? Check the makeshift tent. The tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. 
There is nothing inside, save for a smothered hollow in the dirt where somebody slept. Oh, uh, that's it. Okay, so I'm glad I came back. Oh, actually, can I do some research? Can't research that, but I can grab one of these, probably. Although, I think I want to save for this. 52. 52. I grab this. And also grab a net. Okay, we'll hold off on that for now. We'll keep our research on us. Because there's no storage here. And it's still day, so let's explore before we get spooked at night. And there's nothing back here. And there's nothing over there. I thought we'd see an island. I guess, I guess not. We're too far. Let's go and drop off this research. We'll head to that small island up there. And then continue our little explorations as I avoid this little disturb. here with our speedy boat. Don't crash it. Yeah, we're so speedy. Look at us go. Just zoom in. Faster, better. <sighs> Just kind of keeping an eye out for the... Oops. Ah. For that weird, uh... Way. That weird fish we're supposed to get. I don't even remember the name of it. Uh, nothing in the storage besides that research, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep. Ah. <sighs> Island here, gonna check. One five L. Which I'm assuming it's this one. It's gotta be this one. On a fish. Nice rainy weather. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the dolphins. Pull to wreckage. Yeah, I think I've been here before. Yep. Okay, so we're going here now. Careful. Is that the one in front of us? It is. Nice, catching some random fish. Actually, can I see what those are? Yep. Same old fish I'm getting as before, I guess. I don't know what this is. Ooh, we got some treasure. Bag of the blooms. Nice. Got a good old bag of the blooms. Nothing else at this island. So let's get to you. No. You. here for me got some seems to be treasure see something over there too we 
got some sapphire earrings. Oh, I thought I heard a noise behind me. That's that spooked me. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I think my game just lagged. Cause I just zoomed. Looks like we got another hooded dude over here. Do that. You approach the hooded figure. Dirty gold robes obscure all features except a pair of withered and black, blackened hands. Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluid in their lungs. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. Half the shape of it looks like a bee. Looks like a red snapper. I don't have that. We're gonna have to come back to you because I don't even know where to get that. See ya. Actually, I might. I even let I get it by chance by accident. No. All right, going back to exploring the island. We're going around this way. Hopefully, the darkness doesn't make me go crazy. Okay, so this is going to be the closest place for us. Hopefully I find a dock. Oh, it looks like there's no dock. Something over there. Oh, I don't want to give that one place a good look at the... There's light, so I guess we'll come back to it. I'll do the thing we probably shouldn't be doing and explore at night. Not explore at night, but like. Get back at night. Oh, research. Uh, we'll come back for it. Something tells me that's a trap. Right now, let's just head to town. Ooh, it's quite quiet. Got some fish there. Lovely. That's an early sound. Let's gonna head over here to sell what we caught. Avoid that red hallucinating mist. All right, let's go ahead and sell what we got. This and that way. Yeah. I don't think I was damaged. You still need the wood. I'm gonna go ahead and repair on that. Yeah. Actually, I think here I can buy that research, right? No, they don't have any. No, I wanted to sleep. I'll stop around here. We'll head out here. I think we'll go here first because this is where we wanted. And off. Let's go. Already caught a fish in my net. Nice. I think that's the island in front of me. Just past the one that's in front of me. Oh my goodness. That hook startled me. So we saw there's nothing on this island, I believe. What about the one behind it? Alright, nothing here. Looks to be nothing. We quick swirl around this one.
Oh, there was a dock right here. I could have slept here. Oh, the fool I am. I just stuck it out. Could have saved me a long trip. Whip. I'm having some uh, performance issues. That are it's part of the game. Well, let's explore. Makeshift dock. Campsite. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you do? Respect the symbols in the sand. The symbols ban the, the breath of the camp. Twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprint. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly, hurriedly and looks unfinished. Hmm. Seems like I'm not alone. Infect, inspect footprints. Over left the footprints was barefooted. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating that they were left by a man. You don't know much about footprints because I'm a fisherman. I only know about fish fin prints. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. Inspect the last symbol more closely. Oh, a glint of metal shines through the sand. I'm gonna take it. You take it for yourself. Fresh footprints tread carefully around the sand. Go back. I'm taking this guy's. The uh, jewelry. Extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric is collapsed at the base of some wooden support. There's nothing remarkable about it. What do you want to do? Let's leave before we get, uh. Hey, I'm not gonna sleep here because we just stole a guy's ring. Nice, uh. Nice sounds of a uh, monkey on this island. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna explore here. Make our way here. And then kind of make our way right here. Yes. That makes sense to me. Does it not make sense to you? Let's go on a speedy boat. Ooh, what's that? Sounds spooky. What is that? Oh. Oh, it's all the way down there. Wow. Oh, there's a thing over here, too. I want to read this. A slab of rock. That's above the water. There are four large, powerful fish. Shapes carved into the face. The four great figures returning through the rock's base. Rock slab. I don't know what these are. I guess I haven't ran into them yet. Ooh. Probably run into them soon. Got to be more treasure here, it seems. Let's go ahead and grab that. Got a single doubloon. Not sure if that was worth it. Okay, so that over there looks like it's the lighthouse and those group of islands right here. Um, I'm gonna go and check those out. Oh, oh, we got the red snapper. Let's go and give that red snapper to that guy over here. We'll give it to the guy. We'll go relax in that island with that man that we stole from. You know, finish our little explorations. Oh. Oh, it's all the way down. 
can't get it. Hey, yo, I got your fish. That's the answer. Right here for you. They rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart. It's in their mouth before you have time to process what you saw. These guys sure love the hearts of fish. You're pointing at another picture. What is this picture? Oh, this one looks... Oh, this is a bit. I can't catch this. All right, let's go sleep on that island. Gonna take a nap. Gonna take a nap. By a stranger's campsite that we just pull from now. I don't know what to do. Let's see if he's here when I go and camp. Maybe we can make a new friend. We still have to ring. Let's go ahead and sleep. I hope nobody boards my ship. Alright, you did it. We still gotta explore these, I believe. Let's go. As so I'm heading towards them. So we'll make a big old loop. We'll go through here. And then we'll head to one of the cities. We don't need to be to see anything over here. Like over there in front of us is where we want to. I don't think I can catch those. Yep. I'm catching something. Some red snappers. Right here. Red snappers. More red snappers. Nothing else on this island, it looks like. We'll do a little bit of a crisscross zag. I oh, got something over there. Oh, it looks like there might be something over there as well. We'll go ahead and do this. Ooh. Good read. I got a citron ring. Don't crash, don't crash. Okay, I didn't crash. Looks like there's some wood here. Oh, oh, there's medium wood. Oh, maybe I'll go to the town that's close to us and just upgrade. We get enough. I think we just need three. Oh, one. Oh, we're gonna have enough now. Three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get this cloth. No start, but. Oh, scrap. I don't want scrap. I'll need scrap. Okay, let's go and do the upgrade. We're by Greater Merrill. Let's just do it. Yeah, we're by Greater Merrill. Let's just go and do it. Uh, 
gonna get this upgrade. Gonna get this upgrade. Oh, didn't mean to zoom. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Um, no. Red Ox, upgrade. A one. A two. A three. And an upgrade. There we go. Got a good old advanced tier four hull. We're gonna, next thing we're gonna focus on is the engine. With a good old, good old upgrade for this baby. We're gonna do, let's see. More scrap, I have just that. An additional hull would be nice. How much would we haul for? For scrap. I'll be down here too. I mean, that'd be nice too. Hmm. I think I want to do the engine. Just because speed, speed equals safety. Make me safe. Yeah, we're going to do that. And since we're here, might as well take all of our Treasure and trade at the, at the trader. Yeah. Oh, let's sell that fish too. Why a hundred? Because of this? Oh, uh, if I get it. Here. I think I grabbed all my treasure, right? Yes, I did. Duck. Let's go. Oh, I gotta get my light. That's because I'll do those rocks appear out of nowhere. So, let's sell that. All right. Storage is looking clear. Didn't sell my my explosive by accident. All right. Let's go ahead and sleep. And then uh, stop. I'll see. Head over there now. Oh, but it's wood. I gotta go for the wood. I cannot not get the wood. Oh, oh. No wood over there? No. Alright. Let's go. We're gonna ignore that. Ignore that. It's straight over here. Oh, there's a weird shark here then, huh? Grab this. Alright. Had to do it. There was a green. We need to... Oh, I guess we need scrap now. Digging up scrap. This just makes me wonder, like... The fish must be the only thing that they eat around here. Not beef or any other, like... Sources of... I mean, I guess maybe... Poultry, since birds are flying around. I don't know if you want to eat the... the birds, though. Although they are a source of food. You just gotta cook them right. Even now, like those parasites, so you can, uh. Unless, unless you cook them. 
right? Those parasites. I want them parasites to come and get you. Okay, so now we're heading the wrong way. We want to go this way. Over there. Where we see the little palm trees. Oh. Oh, and that looks like junk over there, too. Let's get this. Oh, that shadow startled me. That's for that balloon. What is this? A curious looking chest is half submerged in the sand. Look inside. Small scrap of paper. A small scrap of paper with a line drawn on it. Okay, don't mind if I do. Okay. Go over there, right? Yes. So we'll, we'll go on the right side since this is the one of the closest to the city. Although there's like a boat over there. Look over here. We'll grab this. Whatever this one is telling me to go to, I'm going to. There's a, there are some boxes scattered haphazardly on the shore. Look inside. Oh, we got an another one. Look. Grab the paper, we got opal earrings, we got some wood. Oh, we getting some nice wood. And we got some cloth. Nice. Oh, that looks kind of like they're using black lighting over there. What the heck is that? Something tells me to avoid those. It's avoiding me. Oh, there's a message in the bottle over here. Oh, I got a jellyfish. 14th of 1927. Well, we're right here. Why not? Oh, oh, oh. oh this area looks pretty. Oh. Broken spectacles. Wow, this is pretty. I don't like how that's coming towards me. I'm gonna just dock here. Research outpost. Generator, laboratory, and sleeping. I can't access my stuff, so we're gonna just... Let's go to the generator. An old generator spartered and ticks over. Laboratory. The laboratory is in ruin, with equipment and research papers thrown, thrown about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. You found research. Oh, nice. You empty the cupboards. Where do you look next? Inspect the equipment on the table. There's some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use of them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawls note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation immediately. Evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? Look around the floor. You look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arms into one. Why would you do that? Okay. You pluck an item from the, gow the gouge in the floor. We leave. I guess we'll research. Can I use this? I cannot use that. I do have, oh, I have four. We get these two. Something tells me I should hold off and try to get this. Which means we can still get these. My crab traps. I'll hold off on that, though. We're gonna sleep. I'll throw up the generator, right? Yeah, we'll sleep. Hopefully nobody crazy comes out of, the, of this research area.
Okay. All the nightlife is uh, going away. Lovely. Explored here, research outpost. So we're going to go to here. There has to be like a town here somewhere. Something tells me to avoid the middle. And that's, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab some more oh, research. Research. Don't mind if I do. I don't like that. I'm getting full. I don't get hit. Oh, these look like I need to catch. Catch them after. Wait, is my thing down? No, 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 I want down. Phew, but that's okay. Looks like there's something over there. Well, let's get to a town first. Looks like I want to come over here. I have a ton of stuff I want to drop off. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? The, uh, the boat merchant person? It sure is. Floating dock. What are they doing? The engine, I think, right? Just needed two wood. Upgrade. Now we do the haul. Oh, put you there. Come on. Three, so I need one more scrap. And that's everything. Yes. Alright, let's go here. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's rotting. Looks like everything in the everything in the net stays fresh, it looks like. Okay, fish market. Huh. Not fish market. My storage, I mean. So I'm gonna put this research away. Look at this. Oh, they go together. Okay, okay, there's a treasure out here somewhere. Let's see. Treasure out here. Put this stuff away. Got some junk. Nice big ship. Big ship, good. Good big ship. Hmm. I put stuff, all stuff away, yes. Explosive, no, we keep explosive. Okay. Nothing else for us here. Let's see. Research. Could get this now, though. What? Four. Four me hold on to. Let's see. Could get this. Heavy duty. Prowl. Let's hold off on that. Let's continue exploring the island. So we went around. I know around here. We saw the research. Area. We see the starlight tune. He travels fast. So let's explore around here, this little island. Didn't quite explore it as well as I wanted to. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you saw that, but my game kind of sped. Oh, we have uh, some more spooky writing. Oh my goodness. What the heck? No! Okay. What did he hit? Well, I'm glad I got rid of all my stuff. Can I... Okay, this is dumb. But I want to see if I can at least read it before he attacks me. I try to go quietly. 
Flash your lights at him. Okay, nope. Don't even give me a chance. Yeah, alright, alright. Well, I have to try. I have to try. Are you crab? We're gonna continue exploring on the island. I saw this little village over here. We're gonna go and see it. See what they got for us. Looks like they have uh, something in here. Is this something I can blow up? It looks like refined metal. I don't need the metal, but... I could use my explosives. Let's blow up their bridge. It's broken anyways. Let's just... We're gonna break it a little bit more. Yeah. I mean to back up into that. I only have the one explosive, so... I just wanted to... Oh, let's just grab the refined metal. Grab this. Drag it up. Oh, this is so fast. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh. It's like the faster it goes, it affects my breathing. Oh, okay. It's getting a little bit late. So let's go to this town. Hopefully this, uh... Looks to be a town. Maybe a little tribal village. Oh, hold on. It's all shiny. There is a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally, its lungs... Oh, no. Snapping at some... Oh, never mind. I thought it was drowning. Uh, occasionally, its lungs in the water snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Doesn't bark. We're going to help this dog. Dog don't like. I don't like. We jump off the boat into the... By high water. The dog stops chasing the fish and focuses on you. Uh, okay. This is probably a stray dog. I mean, it's not charging us, so we're good. Let's, uh... Um... Throw some fish towards the dog. Sure. Throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces on this... Pounces at the splash and swallows sea water. Uh, call for the dog. The dog wags his tail briefly, but doesn't move. So they approach the dog. You walk towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. Uh, oh wait, it sits. Let's see. I don't want to pet. I'm, I can't even pet the dog. I'm close to not close to the dog. I guess I could pat it. Let's call for the dog. Make a soft, encouraging noise, and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Uh, hold out some fish in your hand. You hold out some fish scraps at the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon began licking at licking at them. I don't know what that means. Pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand you're not a threat. Oh boy, we're friends. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're wadding out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow. Oh, I hope I carry it on the boat with me. You continue this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, when you get to the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. All right, we got a buddy. You lift the dog on the deck. It walks around briefly, but curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Yeah. I don't wanna... I don't wanna lose the dog by accident. Okay. Wood. Get. Okay, that was already bad. Okay. 
opportunity. Continue your getting away. Okay, I got the dog here. Dog. Oh, good. Oh, but lights dark. Ooh, it's dark. Okay, just for the protection of the dog, I'm gonna. That's my squid. Ooh. I'm not going to dock here. We're going to go. I want to make sure dog is okay. We're going to go to the pontoon. This dog has become my number one safety priority. We're going to just go to sleep now. I really thought I was going to Get to herd a dog here again. No, nothing for. I don't want to care for those rare fish because I don't know if I'll ever even get them. Oh. Let's go ahead and sell what we got. Let's go to the shipwright. Oh. Let's sell. I don't repair. I. I don't need this, I think. I don't think I need the refined metal for anything. One, two, three here, no. One, two, yeah, I can get more light. I don't think I need a light. Let's just continue on the hull. Like the dog. Mark, mark! <laughs> just in case, let's put that into storage. Got my light. Got my lip lip light. Oh. I could fit two of these on there now. Maybe go super fast. Just put them right here and put one of uh, this particular engine on it. Okay, but I only have the one here right now. Well, more speed equals good, right? But we got research. I can actually research this. Oh, but I can hold off for this. I do kind of want to just do this. So we need four. We're going to hold off. This is nice. It's be good, but I, this is, I think, I have to start... I went off of my fishing. No, I wanted to sleep. Dog is here. I can't. I cannot do that. I need to sleep. I cannot be going around at night. I'm gonna undock. Oh, what is my game keep doing that? That quick zoom. Okay, this was flat. This was flashing before. Let's go ahead and look at this. Stone hums quietly. Replain. Put your hand on it. Does nothing. Okay. Oh, like, can I not dock here? I thought I could dock here. I guess not. My net's broken. I can't dock on that. Whoa. Stairs right here, but I can't dock. Get some cloth. Careful, because the longer I have this dog, I might name it. And that's just showing that I'm getting a level of attachment to it that I'm not sure if I'm ready to lose. Quite a sensitive person. I get more wood. There's a lot of wood here.
Two, back up to three. I think I only need a, uh, or maybe four more. I don't quite remember. I hope I'm gonna get as much as we can, though. But our ship's almost upgraded for to the max. Let's sit here. Yeah. Alright. Now, I didn't notice it before, but it actually looks much better. I guess we do notice a difference when you upgrade it. Oh. Back to the dock. No, no, no. This way. So that's all the wood. We just need. Looks like just need the one scrap. Can I put the, oh, I could put the dog in storage. Uh, Straight dog is going to sleep. Opening an eye occasionally. I'll watch you move around the boat. Let's let's hold on to the dog. I feel bad just leaving it on on shore. We have oh we have a lot of research. Go ahead and research something. Six. Okay, now we can definitely do the engines. Engines or one, two. Do the crab pots. I could just do the better trowel. I might just do the trowel. Let's do the trowel. Sold. For sale. Mm. Uh, can I connect them so high? Oh, why not fix them? No, I want. Yeah. I'm gonna buy this. Like that. Actually, now that I think about it. Shallow. Shallow's good, right? I'm going to keep the shallow. What? No. I'm kind of going back and forth on this. Bear with me. And sleep. Saw some weird brain over there. Okay, so we explored here, we explored here. Still got these two areas, and we still have a galleon ship out here. So this looks like to be another possible town. Let's go. Still got that dog on on board, so don't want to lose it. I think my trial's down, right? Yes, it is. I think we got some more material here. Got some wood. Go ahead and get this wood. Wood. Get in this lumber. Lumber, 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 lumber. Oh, research. Nice. Alright, three. Wood. And I explore this. Waves lap over a pile of. Lock scum collecting on the beach. Nestled in the center is a wooden chest. Look inside. Oh, I got another treasure map. Nice. Alright, 
Let's take that. Oh, looks like, uh, I think there's a fort from before. I'm gonna finish exploring around here real quick. Some more wood. I'm gonna need the wood right now. So I can finish upgrading my ship and then I can start ignoring this. We're gonna get this. We're gonna risk it. And I'll put in the dog, dog's life. Life at risk for jewelry, but that's okay. He chose this life. Dog chose to follow me. Nothing else on this island, it looks like. Dog choke this life. Uh. We got a lot of wood. Okay. Oh, I need a scrap. That's all I needed for you. Put the wood away in all this. I think this might be all the wood we need. Through here. Just the three here, yeah. I think I can ignore wood now. Put that away, put that away. Actually, large scrap of paper. Okay, so we can find treasure uh, here. This looks like to be No, I thought it was right here, but it looks like it's actually right over here. Yeah, this looks like it's the closest. So let's, let's go to sleep. We'll check out this treasure map. I have empty my ship. I saw the dog. Dog just in case, just Hey there. I'm gonna be going to some place a bit dangerous. Let me keep this map on us. Okay. Right over here, I think. Okay, cause this is pointing north, so this is south. So right near the box where this is. So somewhere over here. The next one over. Next one over, right? Yes. Right on the corner, it looks like. Off we go. Gotta go right a little bit. Oh my goodness. What was this? Looks like I found it, maybe? Oh my goodness, those dolphins get me every time. Laying just beneath the surface of the water is a floating chest held down by a chain that disappears into the deep. Open it. Silver plate. What's that? Okay, so we got we got good old stuff. Can I just put that there?
Goodies. Yeah, it looks like it was the treasure here, so. All right. We'll put this into our. Well, let's come over here. Let's go check out the fortress now. Check out all the irons besides this one and this one, but let's check out the fortress. Oh, looks like this is another message in the bottle. Let's grab that. Six, seven of March. I think, uh, let's go around first. Let's kind of get shot at. Thank goodness we didn't get shot at. This seems to be a... Really interesting fortress. Come on, let's talk. Oh, researcher. Your storage. here we're out of room I don't need this map anymore Got a lot of treasure oh we're definitely out of room partially because I haven't been throwing out my trap traps you know what well, we don't really need money you know what I'm probably gonna sell these the next chance I get these, these, and these. And I'll just sell this one. I think I'll sell two of them. I'll sell these two. Keep that open spot. Yeah. Something like that. Two click research. three to do this and I need three for you I don't feel like I should do the craft pots now because I think it's I don't think it's needed to do the whole craft pot level now by the way I'm just I'm delaying let's go see the researcher oh Oh no, wrong voice. Hello. Um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, yes. I thought I had the look. I thought you had the look. A fisherman, all that, all the way up here. Strange. Well, it's a place, it's a pleasure to meet you. All the same, I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. If I had the time? If I have the time. Well, not like I'm good with English anyways. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally Posted in the research outlets on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. <sighs> a large creature emerged from the death and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making it do as best as I can. But I had to leave most of my equipment behind. So now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect them. No, no enough. Plus, you need a Aurora jellyfish and a firefish. Okay, I sold these. No, the octopus. The octopus you haven't gotten. What do I know? 
I want to know what you got because of my encyclopedia. Because of my encyclopedia, not your encyclopedia. So this is shallow. We can fish and crab. We can catch this with a trowel. Catch this with a trowel. This one we have the crab with a crab trap. Or fish it up. Okay. Kevin, we got a lot of stuff. None of these. She wants. Ooh, we got some shrimp. That's shrimp. Prawn. Anything else? Would you like a dog? Actually, yeah. What happens if I take the dog out of storage? Good boy. Researcher. Oh, hello again. There we go. This dog needs a home. Do you want it? Hmm. Dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. He crouches down to the pet the dog. Grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. <laughs> I could definitely tip this one off your hands. And I'd love the company. Are you sure? Either her or the builder. Right? Because I imagine the builder I can give the dog to. I know you can use the company. And I mean, I feel like the dog would be safe here. Hmm. I'll keep the dog. <sighs> wait, wait. Suddenly the, suddenly the dog stands up right and begins to retch. Its stomach's heavy. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob into the floor. Something glistening through the mucus. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose it's yours. If you want it. I guess I'll take it. I can clean up the rest. Don't worry about it. I feel like... I don't know. I know there's a fortress here, but... Like, part, partly the dog will be in danger. Because of the research she's doing. Whatever she was doing in the other place, it put the dog in danger. I'm thinking of the dog. Dog. Danger. Bad. So maybe I should invest in something that can help protect the dog, like engines. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to drop off these traps. Grab my treasure. Oh, drop off the traps here. I don't need this map. Not anymore, so I can sell that. Put this plate in here. Um, get rid of most of it, at least. that okay all right let's go ahead we need to do some crab traps here actually I'll drop one right here where it says plenty off of the deep there you go you know we're gonna come over here let's snap it sweet Drop off this trap right here. No. I'm gonna try to go a little deeper. Oh, where can I go? Too low. Probably somewhere here. Complex trap, trap, there it goes. Away! Go ahead and knock here. So what we got on our net. I'm gonna sell that. Mm. I'm gonna sell that. Don't want to sell the dog. I'm keeping the dog. 
I would like to sell this, but I gotta do it in the Fisher Market. Let's give us some room, Ellie's. Now I can put this into the cargo, dog into the cargo. Yes. All right. I have, I have four research, right? Um, engine good though. Engine good. Engine good. No scrap for this. No scrap for this. I have cloth though. And cloth. find metal so I can sell this okay part of me wants to research this and get it part of me wants to just buy that other engine so I can have two of the good engines better engines than what I have. <sighs> Let's do that. I got a research thing here too. You know what? If that's the case. I'm gonna need to research my engines again, alright? Because that's it. Whatever I get here, that's it. Go to the ship, right? We're gonna buy this engine part then, this research. Gonna go research a new engine. We're gonna do this one. Yeah, okay. One jet drive engine. Engine stack. And I still have the one. Hmm. Oh, yes, I can. So we can do something like... Like this, then. Buy this. Oh, but I can't put you there. that for a quick second. Well, uninstall you. Go into the storage. Come over here. We'll install you. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, we're going super fast now. 104 knots. That feels fast. Let's see. Can't change this any other way, right? Like, I can't get another one of these. Let's see. If I get this sideways. No, it's just the same. I can't. I don't think I could do. The only thing I can do is just 2D improved onboard engine, but at that point, I don't think that's needed. Let's get better light, I guess. Get over there with me. I'm gonna hold on to this just in case. So that one, when I do get the upgrade with this, I might have to just sell it. And this is probably the fastest we can go. Either way, let's go ahead and sleep. Let's go see if about dropping off to stock with the builder. Oh 
even head over there. Straight through this way, it seems. To your point. Let's go. Oh, we're zooming. We're zooming. I'm sure whatever's in here can't even get me. We're zooming. Okay, that's a bad choice. What the heck is that? Okay. I'm glad I didn't go over that. We got anchovy. Oh, we're zooming. I'm definitely gonna stop to grab some treasure. Oh, oh I was about to mess up too, that's good. Oh, we need to scrap. Drop it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm dropping the scrap. I'm dropping the scrap in here. I was doing it all day. Go towards the White House. That's my way to safety. Wait, what was that? Is that just fishing? Yeah. Yeah, that was fishing. I'm gonna check that out, yep. We don't need the wood. Oh, you know what? I totally uh, forgot that I do want to see uh, that one fish. I forgot which one. I, I, I could have caught it though. Let me stop here real quick. Yeah. <sighs> yep, encyclopedia stuff. What we got? Dry dock here. We can do this. Oh, never mind. I thought we had a. Uh... I thought we had everything we needed for that. Do scrap here. Oh yeah, we're running out of. Uh... We ran out of money. I don't think that was gonna happen. Oh, we're speeding. We're speeding so much that we're kind of skipping around. Yeah, I won't rest here. We're just going to grab our stuff and just trade it over. Um, come on. Come dog. Let's see if we can sell this paper. Trader, you want this? No. We can sell everything else. It's kind of taking a quick look. Sapphire sells good, sells good. So Ruby, Ruby sells a lot better. What is this silver plate? Cash for gold. Looks like we're stuck with this in our inventory or storage. I mean, I guess I could just dump it, but I don't want to. This dog goes bark. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, we're zooming. Zooming. Okay, dog. Dog, oh, get out of here. Went to here. Let's see, can Builder Lady take you? Ah. Hey, thanks again for helping me. Blah, blah, blah. No. Ah. Wait, I think you misheard me. 
Oh. You're going back into the storage, dog. I really thought she can take the dog. <sighs> oh well. Catch all the samples, catch a fang tooth, catch a snake mackerel. Okay, well. Can't do anything about that. Mm. Got a couple of things here in that. Oh, all right, well, with that, let me uh, go ahead and uh, meet you all. Meet you all in the talk real quick. Oh, all right, well, we didn't get to do much. Well, besides, I mean, we did we did much. We explored around the islands, looked around, got to see all the nice hooded people who wanted to eat fish's hearts. Different form of sushi that I haven't heard of. And then we got to go to at least look around Stellar Basin. Didn't do much regress the story but we did find a dog i'm not naming the dog yet might keep the dog might give him to the research lady i really thought the builder lady was going to want it so we we've upgraded our ship it's almost complete and once we do that then i can just focus on the fishing but right now we're zooming around with our our nice fast engine so thank you for joining me join me tomorrow at at Friday, I will let you know when I, well, just catch me when you see me streaming, probably at 5 p.m. Central Time. All right, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Come on. Bye. Come on, why aren't you?